good morning from La Coruña. It is overcast and fresh. Not very Spanish at all. But we're here. At least it's calm. Sorry about the breeze. We're in La Coruña. And look at the lovely ship. Yeah. She's so pretty. Very quiet sailing. Didn't, didn't feel it at all. Did didn't feel coming into port. No. In the slightest. It's sunny, as you can see. But it's a bit yeah. breezy, slightly yeah. chilly. That's one. Hence, we've got tops on. Oh. Yep, yeah, and I have leggings on. No shorts yet. I hope we'll get them later in the cruise. So, we're just about to go exploring, really. See what's about. Well, we're hoping to head over to There's a castle. A fort over there. If well, if Pete just pans, you can see it behind us. Where is it? There it is. There, there. there. And then we're going to have a wander through the town. Yeah. Let's get a fridge magnet. Tradition. And I expect someone will need the loo at some point. Yes. She can't hold it. <laughs> Look at that magnificent ship. It's been good so far. She's been lovely. Um, it was a bit choppy on the way down, wasn't it, this guy? Yeah, they had the stabilizers on. We both felt a bit odd. I felt a bit weird in the morning. Then Pete was like that after lunch. I think I've got a bit of a bug, but I'll get over it. <laughs> a bit of a turn in the night, just a shivery, but hey ho. Should we right. head to the fort? Yeah, let's go. Yes, I have found it. Everywhere you go, there's a massive anchor. And there she is. Better explain where we are then. <laughs> yeah. So we're at uh, Castle San Anton. I'm just gonna do that. Castle of San Anton. It's two euro six cents to get in, no cash. Uh, so you had to pay by car, didn't you? Yeah. But that's a bargain, isn't it, really? Well, yes. Oh, hello, Arvia. Your beauty. So we disembarked the ship just about there. And we walked all the way along the promenade. About a 10 minute walk to about here, where you can come into this castle. Here. There's Mrs. B. So some facts. Well, it was used as a quarantine, a fortress, a prison, and now a museum. Hey, look, there's a manatee with a cross on its back. Unfortunately, all the information cards are all in Spanish and Portuguese, so we can't really help you saying what things are. Well, Google Translate. Yeah, I'm doing that one, eh? <laughs> quite a nice museum, though. A bit of Roman for you. Nice bit of Latin. So, Pip has got a pamphlet. That they, 
um, like guys, massive thing, which so you can get a bit of info. You know, if you don't speak Spanish, you're not completely in the dark. Yeah, so you get the basics. That was a nice gold hat. Is there any information about the gold hats, Mrs. Not B? Specifically. So after reading up a bit, we are seeing this is probably Bronze Age, along with a lot of the jewellery and yeah, belts. Yeah, jewellery is nothing new. No. And lots of axes and arrowheads and pots. The light helps there. Hopefully I'm not too porky to fit in here. I'm going in. Ooh. Arrow slits. Two. Three. And there's Arvia. Fairly small, but essential. Well, that's seen better days, whatever that is. <laughs> Any ideas? Comment below. Down. I'm coming down. <laughs> Just thought I'd say that before anyone came up. Stuck on the stairs. <laughs> Only two of us. <laughs> oh. Lovely up there. Looks like this is still a functioning chapel. There's a prayer stall there. Rosary beads from yeah. through the ages. My grandmother would have loved this. She was Roman Catholic. So there's Pippa's little naughty room that she goes in when she misbehaves. You stay in there, Mrs. B. Yeah, I'll get peace and quiet from you. <laughs> It's quite sheltered from the wind where you are. <laughs> what is this? It's weird. Sentry box. Is it? Well, I'm assuming. What did you think it was? Time. Oh, I'm 
bunch of heads. <laughs> This is creepy. It's probably where they stored all their drinking water. I'm going to get very far in that then. what the old town in Corinna looks like. It's nice, isn't it? Very high buildings in narrow streets. And out of the breeze. Out of the breeze, yeah. Rather damn parky today. It was a little bit. Little yes. Bit. Oh. oh, and then you come around the corner and you see things like this. Lovely. They look gnarly, those trees, don't they? Central Square by the looks of it. It's amazing. That's Maria Pizza. She's obviously bred here. It's her bread. <laughs> yeah. Lots of uh, outdoor places to drink and eat, as you'd expect. Oh, we found our first chain restaurant. Have we? Burger King. <laughs> Just no opinion. No. Oh, the doors are opening. It's open at half twelve. Yeah. This is the beach on the other side to where the ship's docked. But there's a spire over there of some sort. Around this point is the Tower of Hercules. We're not going to go that far. Very, uh, very pretty town, city, city. Se city, 17th largest city apparently in Spain. 
There you go. Fat fans. We just came to the beach to have a look. It's beautiful, as you saw, all those shots. Stunning. It's lovely. We've uh, had a good snoop around, seen the architecture, the streets, really nice. Yep, got a lot of steps in. So we're heading back to the ship now. It's not a long day in port, it was nine to half past four. Yeah. Uh, we weren't off the ship until, what? Half, half ten. Half ten, quarter eleven, At least. Like yeah, so we're gonna head back and have some lunch, because we're a bit peckish now. Might as well have a free lunch. Well, a ship lunch. Yes, there's, no, there's nothing in La Cabuna that we thought we'd like to eat, so like a speciality or anything. Not that we really looked anything up, to be honest. A bit too chilly, to be honest. Anyway, we'll see you back in the ship. lovely cabin lady brahma for some body lotion and conditioner because i've been told you can ask for them because they're not provided in the bathroom yep. and you get a full size white company so that's pretty damn fine so thank you very nice. much brahma um i do need the hair conditioner to be fair and the new brochure for pno cruises comes out today which we already picked up because it was outside our cabin last night Ta-da! because they're now going up to October 2026. Yeah. Um, but we've also been left in our cabin. I'm sure everybody's got one. A bar of chocolate. With the promotional thing of me, Bob, saying, don't forget the new brochures out. So Get your chocolate. Thanks, P&O. <laughs> there you go. I mean, you're all together. I can take it you. Oh, there you go. I love the DCL.
fabulous shoes. A regular choice, vinted, 20 pounds. Bargain, brand new in box. That being said, now you've seen the shoes, we're off to the beach house. Yes. I've got my cruise themed dress on. This was Is Ever After, Natasha. Um, one when she did apparel, unfortunately, she doesn't do it anymore. It's very sad. So we're out to sea again, going around a tip of Spain and then heading down past Portugal. Yep, we are on our way to Palma. Two days at sea. We have two days at sea after tonight. Well, now we've set sail. Yeah. But we are hungry. We're trying not to eat too big a lunch, aren't no. we? So that we uh, appreciate our dinner a little bit more. Yeah, the uh, buffet gets uh, very. Um, clogged at lunch times uh, oh, it's just busy. I guess that's everyone on the ship well when we checked in they said there was 5,300 on the ship this time but the Easter holidays cruise the one before us was 6,000 so it's just slightly under uh, capacity yeah it doesn't feel like it though so we're at the beach house we walked all through the buffet all yeah. dressed up to the nines to everyone the glaring at us never mind so we're here Nachos and the taco trio. Sounds nice. And yourself? I also went for nachos without jalapenos. I'm just going to pick mine out. And um, I went for sizzling chicken fajitas. Nice. I had them here before, so I'm looking forward to it. And we've already paid a cover charge for this. Yeah. It's nine pounds if you book it on board each, and then you get three courses. And some things are a teeny weeny up charge, like on top of that. Yeah. But we booked it ahead of time, and it was seven pounds forty ahead of time. So the only thing extra we're paying for tonight drink. is drinks. Yeah, I'm having a beer. I'm having a mai tai. That looks saucy. Nice chunk of pineapple on there. Mm -mm. Oh. Plenty of ice, but is it? How's that? Fruity and refreshing. Just like me. Starters have arrived. Mine's jalapeno free, because I'm a lightweight. I'm just picking mine out. Go on, have one. No. We'll let you know how it was afterwards. Nachos, approve. Very much so. Yeah, a bit spicy. Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, there's only three bits of jalapeno pepper in mine anyway, so I yeah. just picked them out. But we think the salsa had some spices and chilies in it. Yeah, very hot. But I managed. I'm a big brave boy. I can hear a sizzling, a sizzling chicken. That's a lot of chicken there. Eh? Chicken fajitas. There is. Probably need some more racks. Yours looks good. Taco of trios. Trio of tacos. Was it like beef, that. lamb, and chicken? Or something? Uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit. Vegan. Vegan. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to tuck in and we'll let you know how it is afterwards. How was your main, Mrs. B? Lovely. Yeah, really nice. I'm not sure I'd have it again, though, because there's lots of other things on the menu I'd like to try. Yeah. And we are booked back in here for next week. Yep. Yeah. Probably have a steak next week, maybe. Um, it might be worth noting that because there's quite a few sizzling dishes yeah. on the menu, you could end up with a face full of smoke. Yeah. Yes. Which happened a couple of times to us. Because so, we're, so you're we're aware. in a sort of a corridor area here, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had the sizzling chicken fajitas. It was okay. A bit too spicy for me though. So I'm a lightweight. But Perfect. Very nice. But like Pip said, I wouldn't have it again because I want to try other stuff. But if you like your food with a bit of heat in the background, yeah, I recommend that. And we're not sure yeah. if on the second week it has a menu change, are we? No. It did on Britannia, but yeah, no. so we'll wait and see on that one. Two by now. Dolce de Lecce, which said vanilla, but it looks chocolate to me. That's a massive bit of apple pie there. Mm. Enjoy. So we're back from Beach House. Dessert. I had chocolate, unfortunately, so I couldn't eat it. Apple pie, it was lovely. Yeah, so we're in the uh, headliners to see Gareth Oliver comedy. Oh, 
um, he's a ventriloquist apparently. Um, not heard of him, but nice. I'm sure he's going to be amazing. They're turning people away at the door. Yeah. Um, so Fully booked. It really is wise to make your bookings on the piano yeah. uh, webpage when it pops up for your cruise to book your bits and pieces just in case. Anyway. Now, not everyone's going to turn up that's booked, so they do take walk ins. So if you don't book, there is also always a chance of getting. So we let you know how he was afterwards. We are back from the show. It was... Gareth Oliver. Um, <laughs> it was up and down. <laughs> started off really well. Yeah. Then it went really weird in the middle. He started talking about his um, kids. Instagram. And kept plugging his Instagram. Right, 10, really, 15 minutes of Instagram. Really quite All violently. Right. And then he got an audience member out and did a ventriloquism the, act with him. The old him. mask on. And it was... That was brilliant. great. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. hilarious. The guy he had up there was just yeah, totally going for a laugh. Yes. Um, so that kind of saved it. So, yeah, it was a bit yeah. odd. But he's on again in the clubhouse later in the, in the week. Yeah, doing some proper ventriloquism. With puppets. So um, we may, yeah, we may, may head not down. go and but see yeah, him. Yeah, good. Not really sure. But, yeah, overall, it was good. It was sort of... But halfway through, we were kind of thinking, oh, crumbs, this is a bit odd. But, um, yeah. no, he saved it. <laughs> well, we've had a good day today, La Coruña. So it's half nine. It's still daylight, look. Very Just strange, because we're an hour ahead. Um, we're going to hit the sack. We've got a few bits and bobs to do tomorrow. I'll probably show you the laundrette. <laughs> Woohoo! That'll be in Sea Day vlogs, though. Yes. But other than that, we've got no sort of fixed plans. But it's formal night tomorrow, so we're going to go to Sindhu yes. in our post togs. And we have had the schedule for tomorrow, so I need mm. to peruse that and see what's going on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Yes, please like, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed that video, why not check out this one here? And we also have some playlists. And here's one here. We'll see you there. Bye.